What exactly happens if you remove your RAM, GPU, CPU from your PC while the computer is asleep? Let's find out. So if you're familiar when you put your computer to sleep, a lot of things happen. Your fans stop spinning, usually the screen turns off, and some lights also turn off. So I think it would be fair to say it'd be interesting to see what happens if like, you remove the RAM. Since all the lights are off, maybe the RAM's off. Not really, but we'll see. So to start off, um, we're going to go put our computer to sleep here. I got to just put it to sleep. Um, go to bed. You're going to have a... Uh, good night's sleep. Yeah, we'll put it that way. You're gonna, you're gonna have a, a wonderful, wonderful good night. Um, good night's sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're gonna have a fun time. Don't worry about it. So uh, let's try our GPU. I wanna um take out the GPU here and reinstall it. So here's our GPU. We're upgrading our GPU at the moment. Um, this 1050 Ti can now magically come back over here when we've got a different graphics card this is magically a uh, 3090 since those don't actually exist currently yeah 3090 totally totally please be a 3090 all i want oh so now it's finally shut off so the question is does this actually boot up oh no this has um rebooted altogether so no this, this went to sleep and it looks like it shut off. Oh, I I'm, I'm now have all my pieces I can turn on again. That's quite interesting. We've got the GPU that... It's not spinning anymore. I wonder if that's a good sign or not. Um, but yeah, no, the GPU's doing just fine. It's uh, looks like we can log in and uh, have no issues here. So it looks like what happens when you remove your GPU while it's asleep? Uh, the computer shuts off. Let's try putting it to sleep and then plugging in and unplugging the hard drive with the OS on it to see what happens. Now, interestingly enough, the hard drive should stop spinning when it's put to sleep. So here's our hard drive, and it is put to sleep. I'm going to go through and unplug it all together. So this is the hard drive. Now I want to see when I plug this back in and I try to start up the computer. See if I go through and I try to start up the computer. Is it going to boot up again? Ooh! Is this going to let me log again? So I wonder, can you go through and remove the drive? Put a new one on, for example. I mean, obviously you have hot swap it, swapping, it should be on here. Um, but the question is, is this gonna let me load into Windows? Uh, or is it gonna blue screen? Oh, we can, we are in. So when you put your computer to sleep, it looks like the RAM is kind of important. Um, it's a little slow rather. It's definitely still reading. And if I do a control delete, it is definitely reading stuff from the disk. Um, so yeah, it's reading a bunch of stuff from the disk, which Google Chrome using 100% of a hard drive is not really any surprise here. Can you remove the hard drive while your computer is asleep? Yes, I would assume hot swap devices and stuff make that pretty easy. Next up though, we have the CPU. I want to see what happens if you remove the CPU while the computer is asleep. Actually, can we upgrade the CPU is the question. Let me get another CPU. So right here, I have a different CPU. It's a slightly slower model. Um, interestingly enough, I'm going to see what happens if I put this to sleep and go through and upgrade it. Good night. Good night. I give you a good night kiss because you're going to... Oh, that's great. That's a great. If you guys can't tell, about now, I would love to be this computer going to sleep. I don't know if I'd go to sleep this way though. Like, how would this work in real life? A lot of you guys like to ask that. How would this work in real life? Well, you go to sleep and then like have surgery while you're asleep without anesthesia. We've already figured out that things wake up when you're uh, supposed to be asleep. So I'd assume the same thing would happen in real life. You know, if you went to sleep and someone started replacing your like kidney, um, and you had nothing else, I think you'd wake up. 
I, I, I at least would, but, um, well, I don't know, some people might not. Just wake up and missing a kidney. Okay, well, let's go to sleep now, and let's, uh, upgrade our CPU. A lot of you guys have noticed that we are at, uh, past 100k, and, uh, there are some quick announcements I'm gonna do while we're sitting over here. Um, I have a banger video, I think Riley01 in the live stream, or gave me the, a good idea. Uh, I think his was slightly different than what I'm doing, but we're going to be doing the play button, see what happens when you use the play button as your cooler. Um, that will be an upcoming video uh, pretty soon on the channel. Uh, I've got some other ones, some of the other ones you guys wanted to see, those will be coming up shortly too. Um, we're also going to be doing some more cooking videos. Uh, I'm going to be buying a liquid cooling loop to uh, make some, uh, what do I call this? Uh, liquid cooling loop to make food in. Uh, that's really what it's come down to. This channel has come down to a cooking channel. So yeah, we're going to be just doing some standard cooking. So I've got a liquid cooler loop i got to find. If anyone has any suggestions and like any loops you want to see, preferably like a one on where you have like a reservoir, you can like pour soup in um, and then like eat in the reservoir. That'd be great. That's what's coming up. You should subscribe for that too. I mean, we don't have any milestones now. I guess a million is the next one, right? I'll let you know when I get the play button too. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you very much. You you watching right now. Thank you very much for making my childhood dreams possible. Never would I have ever thought I'd be getting a play button. So in today's episode of Will It... Will this work? So here's the CPU. It's still got that zero one light. Now it's time to replace the CPU with a different one. So the next question I'm sure you're asking is, well, we, we installed a new CPU, uh, it shut down. So the next question to ask, obviously, in this logical bit of statements is whether or not this is going to boot up properly with our um, new CPU. So uh, let's see what happens. Are we going to load into fine or are we going to have some issues? So I would say since the drive is not spinning, uh, when it's in sleep mode, you are quite unlikely to corrupt anything. I mean, I won't say it's impossible, but you are unlikely to do any corruption to your data. Would I recommend doing this? Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. But it is, it is, it's something you can do. Just like a lot of these videos I do, you can do them. You just may suffer poorly. Taking a little bit longer than it normally does. This looks kind of different. Yeah, everything looks fine. It looks like it's figured out what the heck was going on. So, yeah, I probably should have... Turn the fan over here, see? Blow over here, see? Cool this down. This is totally how you're supposed to, uh, normal people use their fans. Got there. I guess the next logical progression in this situation here is what happens if you upgrade your power supply. Now, everyone's going, oh, oh, Dre, that's a, that's a great idea. That's a, that's a great idea. Um, sure, it's just going to shut off. If you remove the CPU header, on the other hand, though, that is just powering the CPU. And while it's asleep, uh... It may or may not do anything. And if you wanted to, for example, we're having some issues and you need more power for your CPU, maybe you had one of those two headers, and you decided you wanted to overclock a bit, you can just plug one of those in and you can see what happens. Um, so let's go through and put it to sleep, see what happens. You know, where the heck am I going to find a liquid cooling loop that I can cook beans in? Dude, this thing smells like toothpaste still from that last video. I don't know if you guys remember when we cooked a nut on a CPU, but... Um, yeah, this still smells like toothpaste from that. That's that's that sentence has never been uttered before, but I'm sure I'm sure you're interested now. You should watch that video. Well, I mean, am I surprised? No. Are you surprised? No. Surprise, surprise. There. So next up, let's see if we can put this to sleep. And uh, check out the RAM department. I've done some videos where we've removed parts while the PC was on. Now the difference between obviously when the computer is on and when it's asleep, a lot of functions slow down, a lot of functions turn off. I'll see how much it's using the RAM. So uh, let's uh, go through and uh, yank out some RAM. That sounds like a great idea. So I've got RAM. There's the RAM that's in the computer and the computer is asleep at the moment. Let's go through and put this back in. Now let's try to wake up the PC. It's not turned off. I think it might be um, permanently asleep. Uh, that, that sounds a bad way to say uh, dead at the moment. So 
Yeah, this PC is just taking a, uh, what you would call an extended nap. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I think I might have to reboot this though, because it is definitely frozen up. Um, so what I would assume is it probably keeps the RAM powered, loads the OS on, and since you have removed and pretty much unpowered the RAM, which random access memory is not static, uh, you pretty much wipe the RAM stick, and now it's trying to read from that RAM stick to get out of the sleep mode, and um, it's having a hard time. Now, I do think the likelihood of corruption is a little bit more mitigated, if I should say that, or a little less likely. It is pretty much in a slowed or almost stopped state in the OS. It's not really interacting much. It's not putting stuff to the screen. So I'd assume a lot of the standard operations that would happen in an OS not be happening, and therefore a little less read writes um, to just preventing less likely for it to corrupt. I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it definitely is much less likely. So it looks like we're gonna load up just fine. Like, would you upgrade parts doing this? No, because there's still a likelihood that um, even when plugged in, you can jump something and then start the computer that way. So like when you switch out PC devices, if you're not careful, you can obviously damage it that way. So it looks like we're back into the Windows again, and I mean, we have no issues. So we've tried most things on this computer. Uh, basic story is um, stupid things yield stupid results, which is what we usually find out on this channel. So, um, thanks for watching everybody. Have a fabulous day. That was not the word I should have chosen. Have a great day. Fabulous, uh, yeah, that's not a really good word to use on the internet. No, no. Um, have, have, have a good day and, uh, hopefully I'll see you back next time when we do something else stupid. Um, subscribe for cooking beans in a liquid cooler loop or finding what out, finding out how well a silver play button does as a CPU cooler. I should make that in the style of a review video. That'd be really cool.